This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. We're gonna to start today's video on my phone. We just arrived at Tetbury. Put the high vis on. Um, yeah, we just arrived at Tetbury and we are going to grab our paperwork. Hopefully, it's gonna be all pallets today. But uh, yeah, thank you very much everyone for watching. Hopefully, we're gonna have a good day today. All right, let's go get our paperwork. Ugh. Yes, here we are. This is my truck. We have a flatbed on today, um, which we have actually had a flatbed for quite a while, which is good. I prefer the flatbed work. Um, so I'm just doing up my zips. Yeah, so these are from a company called Big Boots and uh, they've got zips on the side. They gave them to me for free, not gonna lie. Um, but I've worn them every day for the last, I don't know, six months, seven months. So yeah, big shout out to Big Boots. I'll probably put a link in the description. Anyway, let's go, uh, let's go grab our paperwork. It's changed again. Uh, five minutes around the corner, Kieran phoned me up and changed the job. It was supposed to be South East London and Malden. Now it's changed to Heathfield and Tunbridge. So yeah, anyway, please be pallets, please be pallets, please be pallets. Right, it's half and half. We've got 12 pallets for the first drop in Heathfield and then we've got 25 bolt bags for the second drop in Tunbridge. So we'll have um, the bags on the front, pallets on the back. So we've just been netting half the load, so not too bad, I suppose. Okay, pallets are starting to go on. We did have to change things around a little bit just now. So originally you planned me to go to Heathfield and then Tunbridge, uh, but the Heathfield didn't open up till nine o'clock. So I've taken the executive decision to swap the loads around and do Tunbridge first, which means we can get that off sooner, which means by the time we get that soon off and then head to Heath Field, they should be open. So I'm really struggling with remembering the names then. <laughs> so anyway, we were gonna have bags on the front, pallets on the back. Now it's the other way around. Pallets on the front, bags on the back. That's what we're doing. Okay, bolt bags are now going on. We've got a couple over, some small pallets over here on the left and on the right as well. So we're just on the bed now, putting the net over. Once that's done, we'll, uh, we'll strap up. Okay, we are out of there. We are still in the lane. We need to finish strapping up and um, netting it all up. Just got out of the way so other trucks can go on in because, uh, you know, it's just kind and courteous, isn't it, to get out of the way so other people can get loaded. They all got places they want to be. So yes, um, need to finish netting it up, put all the bungees around, and then we'll go around and we'll strap it all up. That's what we're gonna do now. Okay, we're done. A little bit of, uh, a little bit of sweating. <laughs> uh, pallets are strapped up here, as you can see, and the bags are also netted and strapped. I sometimes get asked, how come I don't net the pallets? The pallets don't need netting. They're already waterproofed and nothing's gonna fall out of them. The bags have loose topsoil in them, so, you don't want any topsoil coming off and hitting a car, potentially causing damage. The only reason why it's on top of that pallet is because opposite that pallet, there is a bag, a bit like this here. There's a bag on top of a pallet. So yes. Anyway, we're gonna jump in the truck now, do some calculations. I think I'm gonna go back to the yard and go home tonight. But uh, just need to do some, uh, some calculations first. Yes, calculations, calculations. So from where we are now, we are three hours and 10 minutes away from the delivery point. Oh. But we are gonna, I think we're gonna go back to the yard. Yeah. But obviously that will knock some time off of uh, the journey tomorrow. <laughs> but not an awful lot. I can go down there. Seat belt on. Yeah, I reckon tomorrow is going to be a good two hours and a half, maybe two hours 45. Just under three hours, I think, to get there. Um, so it is going to mean an early start tomorrow. I need to try. Hmm, I need to try, really, and be in the yard for half past four in the morning. Yeah, I should be there by about seven o'clock then. 
that's the aim anyway that's the aim but yeah hello everybody welcome to the channel i know i said hello already but i do like to say hello welcome to the channel on the gopro rather than on the phone um hopefully wherever you are you're enjoying yourself you've had a good day or hopefully if you're watching in the morning you will have a good day today for me is wednesday no it's not it's tuesday god damn it <laughs> i thought i only had two more days left of work no it's tuesday so tomorrow's wednesday i've oh, got bloody horse don't get me started on horses look yes they have every right to be on the road but get them off the road that's all i'm saying do you know what i mean no, no, I know this is going to cause hate between some people, but I don't think horses should be on the road. Not because it slows vehicles down and makes my day longer. It's unsafe, man. Look, if, if you're riding a horse, an animal, you don't know how that animal's going to behave. I, I could pass this horse rider now. It could kick the horse... Oh, it's moving into the road. It could kick, kick the horse rider off. She could injure herself. Am I to blame? As she is, it's a boy, not a, not a girl. That was sexist. Shouldn't assume gender on plenty of men ride horses. I know that. But I'm just trying to say, not only is it not safe for the rider, it's not safe for the horse. And I understand, you know, you do it to train. I don't know. Do you do it to train them up? Why, why are you on the horse? Why? These horses here, up and down this road here, there's a bridle thing on the left, there's like training thing, and I'm pretty sure there's a farm on the right. It should really, really need to cross down there. I don't know, maybe there's something about that. I don't know, but still. <laughs> I know it's going to cause a lot of trouble, but I think if you're going to have a horse and you need to transport it from one place to another, buy a bloody horse trailer. Just that. Anyway, moving on. That's going to lose me some subs. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I'm real, okay? I'm not, I'm not fake. I've been accused of being fake in the past. I am me. If you don't like what I say, so be it. You're, you're perfectly entitled to not like or agree with what I say. You're perfectly entitled to that opinion. As I am perfectly entitled to mine. So, you know, and just because people don't agree sometimes with what you're saying doesn't mean you can't be friends, doesn't mean you can't enjoy each other's company. You ask me and the boys, Kev, Scott, Jay, Martin, we don't see eye to eye on everything. In fact, we disagree on most stuff, but we're still very good friends, and uh, we make each other laugh. Uh, so yeah, please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> right, we're um, we're going to head back to the yard. Um, it's only twenty to three, so by the time we get to the yard, it's going to be like half past three or something like that. So quite an early finish today. We could head to our destination or head towards our destination. We certainly wouldn't get there tonight, and then it would obviously mean I'm going to do a night out. Harry and Sons have to pay me a night out so they lose money, and I spend an additional night away from my family. I do try to get home as much as possible. They try to get me home as much as possible. It's like a mutual agreement. Um, if that makes me less of a trucker, so be it. Really couldn't care. We used to have one employee that worked for us who would say, you're not a real trucker unless you stay out Monday to Friday. He's a knob, just said. Um, if you drive a truck, you're a real trucker, um, regardless to how often you go home. You could be home for two weeks at a time. Oh, sorry, you could be away from home two weeks at a time doing European work, or you could be home every night. You're still a trucker, it doesn't matter. Um, the only difference between people who stay away from home for two weeks at a time and those that are home every night is that the ones that are home every night spend more time with their kids, uh, which I value personally. Um, but I also like enjoy my job. <laughs> so it's sort of a both, best of both worlds is what we do. Um, yeah, I could. Uh, I could get a job where I'm home every night, but that'd be boring. I've done work like that, and it's boring, normally. You go to the same place over and over again. This job is good, you go to different places all the time. These two places I'm going to now. Been doing Malcourt stuff now for like two or three years. Never been to either one of these. Do you know what I mean? Every day is a different day. That's why I love working Harry and Sons. You never know what you're going to do next. Like, literally. <laughs> you literally never know what you're going to do next. Uh, it's not for everyone, but I quite like it. I like the uh, the, unpredictabil the unpredictability of it um, and the challenges it may obviously come from it as well. So, yes. Anyway, rambled on. That's enough of the intro. Probably see you when we're back in the yard, and then, uh, and then I'll see you in the morning. But I'll see you in the yard first. See you in a bit. Okay, that's us parked up now in the yard. We're uh, just going to jump out now and make sure everything's right with the truck. And then go home. 
All right, just walking back to the truck now. I've got my hoodie on because if I don't put it on, I'll forget it. And then tomorrow morning it'd be too cold. <laughs> so I'll take it with me. Um, so yeah, let's head back to the car, which is actually my Type R. I didn't bring the Type R to work Monday, which was yesterday. I bought the Nissan. Yeah, I bought the Nissan to work Monday because Friday when I went home, I was being kind and courteous and I pulled over to let a car come past, went in a pothole and uh, the pothole literally sliced my tire open <laughs> and air come out of it. So I had to bring the Nissan to work Monday whilst uh, I got two new tires put on my car at home. So yeah, I got two new tires on my car. Ugh. Yes, brand new Pilot Sport 4S's. And that's where the damage happened. Went in a pothole, sliced the, the bloody wheel and uh, yeah, damaged the alloy as well. Obviously, only only happened to one tire, but I thought I'd get both tires changed. So, got this one done as well. Mitchell and Pilot Sport 4. Yeah, loads of tread on the back. On the top, sorry. And uh, yeah, they match them. Got bird crap on my wheel. So yeah, these are four S's as well. So yeah, two new, uh, two new tires. Ooh. Anyway, let's get in the car. Oh, you can tell my wife's been in it. <laughs> the seat is not to my liking. Anyway, I'm going to go home. Got an early start tomorrow. The mirror's not even put straight. Early start tomorrow, so uh, yeah, see you in the morning. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Okay, morning everyone. It is the next day. It's um, it's 5 a.m. I wanted to leave by 5 a.m., but um, we're just getting here at 5 a.m. <laughs> um, so let's walk to the truck, do some daily checks, and then let's get cracking. I'll probably see you when we're there. It's running out of time though, so it's probably gonna be like nine o'clock ish, half eight, nine, but I'll see you there. Okay, right now we are in the truck now. Um, and <laughs> my sat nav has done this a few times where I put it in the night before how long it's going to take to get there so it was telling me it was going to take just under three hours to get there now it's less than two and a half plus i know i can make up some time on the way <laughs> so we're going to be there probably about 7 45 i would say um because we'll make up some time on the way so yeah not too bad not too bad uh, i always aim to be at places before eight o'clock and uh i aim to be at this place before eight o'clock but when i woke up this morning and decided to hit snooze for another 30 minutes. <laughs> I knew I'd be at least half an hour late, but no, it turns out we're okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna be there before eight o'clock. Checks are done, just waiting for the truck to warm up and then we'll crack on. But yeah, I will see you, uh, we're just around the corner. We're going to, which one are we going to first? Tunbridge first, I believe. Yeah, Tunbridge. To get rid of the 25 bolt bags and then we've got to go to uh, Heathfield and get rid of the uh, 12 pallets that are on the front. But that place looks quite, small there's not a lot of place uh, not a lot of space in that place um so yeah, that could be interesting okay morning we uh we've been driving now for a few hours how many hours have we been driving for drive time two hours 17 minutes 217 uh we're just around the corner from the delivery we're only a mile away and uh it is quarter to eight right now so we weren't too far off uh, so we are indeed going to get here before eight o'clock. Just checking the trailer. I've got one of my straps is just wobbling a little bit more than I'd like. I'll, uh, I'll make sure I tighten it up later. It's on one of the, uh, the pallets which are staying on. So we'll, uh, we'll make sure it's all tight before we leave again. It's not loose, it's just wobbling ever so slightly more than I'd like. I can turn my lights off now. Turn my lights off. Um, so yeah, well that looks like a dealer that's been closed down. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just around the corner now. I've never been to this place before, or the next one either. Um, so it's going to be new to me. Looks like you can turn off the road and then it should be on the right hand side. We'll probably sort of wander in and have a little look. But we've only got 25 bags to come off. I'm hoping we get in and out quite quickly uh, so we can get on with the rest of the day. That'd be nice. 
I think Kieran was saying, who is running the show at the moment, that once we do this drop and the next drop, we could be going back to Seven Oak, which tells me it'd be H&H &H blocks. Um, and if we hurry up and get that, we could be there for lunchtime, potentially. And uh, depending on where we're going, that could mean we get that delivered today, wherever it's going. But I'll get ahead of myself. I don't actually know if that is what I'm doing <laughs> or where I'm actually going. So we uh, we don't know yet. Right, let's turn right this roundabout. Yeah, going to turn left here. Right where that van is in front. Oh my God, van drivers. Oh. I had a police car overtake me just now, and uh, I was on the motorway, and a mile up the road, there was a van, it just wouldn't get out of the way of the police car. Just completely oblivious. Right. So we want to go in this place here. But I don't know where to park, let's just park here a sec. Notice, driver's report, yeah, so it does say to report. So we'll just pop here for a second. Hopefully we're not in anyone's way too much. The sun is shining on that mirror. I need to clean that mirror in a sec. Definitely need to clean the mirror. Right, I'm just gonna go and let them know I'm here and I might get let straight in. Okay, net is off. I have just realized we've only got five pallets this side, six the other side. So, I mean, I'm not great at maths, but that's 11, not 12. So I think there's a mistake either on the paperwork or with the loading, I could have sworn the paperwork said there was 12 pallets, but there's only 11, so, um, years. I'll have to let them know. But yeah, all the straps are off, all the nets are off. Uh, also had to take the strap off of that one, and then there's a pallet the opposite side of that, so we had to take the strap off there as well. So we've got to put two straps back over, which is why there's two straps there, look when we're done. Their lorry has just turned up, so we're just waiting for room now for me to get in, and uh, then we can uh, get in and get offloaded. But how long that's gonna be, I do not know. So whilst we're waiting, stra uh, nets off, straps off. So I've just put it on brake. So we've had nothing at the moment, that'll take over to one in a minute. That's how much driving we've done today for uh, two hours, 21. And that's how much we've driving we've done over the last two weeks if anyone wants to know what that number is. But yeah, we're just waiting to be let in. They've got their own truck there, look. I think he said we're gonna go in, turn right, and we're sort of heading that direction over there. And then just reverse back out once we're done. But there we go, it's just ticked over to one minute, look. One minute break. Okay, we are now in. Happy days. We'll uh, we're just waiting now for Fortlift to come over and uh, take off these bags right behind me. Right, we're getting there. Uh, other side is done. Well, the last one's coming off now, actually. And then just these seven to come off. Uh, and then we're throwing straps over. We've got, like I said, we've got one pallet here, one pallet behind this bag. Throw these two straps over. And then we'll be off. We've actually had uh, two forklifters on us today, so we haven't uh, been here that long at all. What time is it? 8.35. So uh, we've been here nearly an hour, but... Um, some of that was waiting outside, so not too bad. Quick um, outfit change. Ugh, it's getting very warm. Nice. It's better. <laughs> right, it's it. I don't know if anyone's watching me back or not. No idea. We shall start moving back and see what, see if anyone does anything. <laughs> no, I think it's going to be a case of me going back myself. That van can wait. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. Oh, right. There is someone watching me back. I've got completely the wrong angle. I need to go forward and get a, a steeper angle. That's better.
Just got to watch this gate with the uh, trailer turning. So I got to like turn last minute. There we go. We passed the gate, so now we can turn. Lovely. And we're out of here. That is where we were parked earlier, where that lorry is now. I mean, it just gives other lorries room to manoeuvre around this bend. Nice. And put our seatbelt on. So yeah, one delivery done. I was hoping it would be quicker than that, but hasn't been the case. Oh man, it's gonna take ages to get out. Loads of vehicles to the left. It's going to take us ages to get out of here. That lorry's flashing me out. I just need a car to... Oh, the car's letting me out as well. Just need a car this side to let me out. Okay, you're letting me out. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's like when one side lets you out, um, you can push your way out a little bit and then hopefully vehicles on the other side let you out as well, but it's not always the case. Um, so yeah, we're heading to, um, where are we going? Heathfield now. Heading to Heathfield. Uh, we should be there for quarter to ten. It is just before nine o'clock now. Um, so that, like, they're only just opening, so yeah. <laughs> if I did it the other way around and went there first, I, uh, well, I'd probably, I'd still be there. And, well, no, I, yeah, they wouldn't even be open right now if I went to the other place first. So we've got this delivered and we're heading to the next delivery before the other place even opened if I went there first. So as far as I'm concerned, we are ahead of time. And I did the right thing, basically, by swapping the low ground. Anyway, so I'm going to go. I'll, uh, I'll see you when we get there. On the map, it looks a little bit tight, but also if there's no cars there, it looks like it might be all right. So I think it just depends on how busy it is. So we'll see. But uh, I'll see you when we get there. See you in a bit. We're going to start indicating left. Which entrance is it? This entrance here. Right, we're going to use the other side of the road to make the turn. Oh yeah, we definitely need the other side of the road to get in. And then just double check it's all clear on the left, it is. That's a very sharp turn, but we should be okay. I'm not sure. Can't make it that turn, but we can go up there and make that turn. Yeah. We go up here and then we should be able to make it. Just watch the cars either side. Sorry if you've just washed them, but I am making them dusty. <laughs> There's a house here. Literally someone's house. Okay, we need to quite sharp turn it now. Lovely. I don't know what side they want me on. They just said sort of reverse by the greenhouse. There's, a, there's grass there. I don't really want to be driving on the grass. At least we've spun around and we're facing the right way now to go back out. We reverse back onto the tarmac. <coughs> or concrete, wherever it is. If they want us to move again, we can move. I think they will want us to move, to be honest. Uh, yeah, we'll get out, take the straps off, and see what they say. But yeah, at least we're here. All right, see you in a bit. Yeah, so I'm just about to undo the straps. Uh, you just come over to me, he wants me to pull forward. This one I'm saying, it's a bit soft here. Well, it's not, it's not soft soft, but it's not ideal. Um, so I've gone on the hard standing bit there, look. But yeah, he wants me to move forward, and then he tip me there on the left. Um, and presumably on the right as well, so. We'll just take the straps off, and then um, we'll move forward. Okay, straps are off. Let's get the truck moved forward. 
and then you can offload us. We're just waiting for a message as well from the Bother's son to say what we're doing next. He did say we were going to Seven Oaks, which I'm going to assume is H and H. But I wouldn't be surprised if that's changed because it's changed like hundred times this week already. <laughs> yeah, big B. So a big B went on the windscreen then. <laughs> right, we're leaving now. Um, I completely forgot to start the GoPros. Uh, so yeah, sorry, I've just missed coming out of the entrance. We've literally just come out. We're leaving now. We are indeed heading to H&H &H in Pol not Pollington, um, Seven Oaks. We're due to be there for 11.30. Sometimes says 11.28. So that is when we're going to be there. We've got to get loaded for Tetbury, which it's going to try and get off by four o'clock. But personally, I think that's pushing it. We'll try though. We'll see what we can do. Uh, I haven't had a break yet, so I do need to stop somewhere for a break. And um, yeah, see if we can get there by four o'clock. Hopefully we can. Otherwise, it's uh, at eight thirty start tomorrow, and the later you start, normally the later you finish. So <laughs> I'd rather get it off today anyway. So we'll try our best. We'll try our best. But yeah, we're heading there now. Um, so I'll be there about eleven thirty. I'll see you when we're there. See you in a bit. Right, we are loaded. Sorry, I didn't uh, show much. I've been emailing um, uh, <laughs> the house. I've been emailing, um, what they call them? Estate agent uh, and solicitors. So yeah, we've just got a couple of questions regarding the house. There's uh, uh, <laughs> evidence of mice infestation in the loft, so we need that sorted. So I was busy sending emails, do apologize. I haven't done any filming, but we are loaded. Uh, let me see if I just... not really gonna be able to see. There we go, we are loaded. Just about to leave now. Um, and we're going to get a move on. Uh, we've got to stop for a break on the way as well, so we're looking at four o'clock. So it's touch and go. So yeah, haven't got any time to uh, turn my mic on or anything. We've got to get going. <laughs> Hopefully, we can make up some time on the way. Might get stuck in traffic on the way. Uh, it could get. It could. Yeah. Who knows what's going to happen? Um, we will try our best to get there, but I do need to stop for half an hour break. We've got two hours of driving left. I think. Wow. Luckily that didn't hit me on the air, that might have hurt. <laughs> I just opened up the cupboard. <laughs> uh, we're on two hours and six minutes of driving. So we've got, yeah, just over two hours we can do. So we'll probably get somewhere on the M4, maybe stop at Redden Services, have half an hour break there. I don't know, I'm actually really thirsty, I've got no drink on me, so I might stop earlier, I don't know. We'll see, but I'm off. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so we've come through Sirencester now. We are the other side of Tetbury. We need to get the other side of Tetbury though. We're the wrong side of Tetbury. <laughs> um, coming up is a low bridge. Uh, yeah, there's a low bridge. We can't go straight on because if we do, we're gonna hit the bridge. I think it's four meters. Um, we can definitely get under 4.2, but I don't go under 4.2 probably. I reckon we could probably squeeze under a 4.1. I'll have to measure, <laughs> but I know uh, I've been told in the past not to go under the Tetbury Bridge, which is the bridge coming up. Uh, yeah, we go 3.9 meters. So yeah, it's, it's, it's quite low. That's 13 feet for those of you who use feet. <laughs> so we have to turn left. We have to go via Kemble and then a place called, I think it's Colcraton or something, which is essentially a single track lane. Um, but that is the only way we can go and avoid that 3.9 meter bridge. I don't know if you can see, but there are planes in the airfield over here on the right hand side. I don't know if you'll be able to see them, but there are. Occasionally there's some taking off and landing as well. Um, this is Kemble Airstrip, something like that. Honestly guys, I'm like 99% sure the bridge is on the right, not the left. <laughs> we are going left, now well done. You must have seen me somehow. They're already there waiting for me. Yes, this is the narrow wrist bits. All gravy baby. I've definitely bring, I've definitely bought a truck down here, a hundred percent. There used to be a bridge down here. Maybe that's what the sat nav thinks it is. But it's uh, 
well, as far as I remember, it's been uh, chopped down basically. There's been no signs to say there's a bridge up ahead. Yeah, I think there used to be a bridge here. We're going left. Satnav says there is a, a bridge on the left. I can see the bridge sign down there. There's a bridge sign down there, because that's where the bridge is. Cool. There's this blue sign here. I'm pretty sure that's a wing limit. So that's a weight limited sign in two miles. That's cool. So we are on this road for another two miles. Go on, Range Rover, don't take me. We are on this road for two miles, and then we literally turn right just before the weight limit. Uh, and it's that that weight limit went before we turn right is 100 yards the other way, and the other side of temporary basically. And it's, it's that little bit that we're trying to avoid. Come on, mate. Yeah, just that, on the left hand side is that little 100, 200 yard weight limit, which, it, which is what we're avoiding basically. Bit of a nightmare. Anyway, we're only half a mile away. Literally all of that, to avoid that 200 yard weight limit, to go half a mile down the road. Uh, got to avoid the low bridge and avoid the weight limit as well. Ted Ray, not truck friendly. Now this place we're going to, I have been before, I have. The last time I went was September 2019. I know that because Google tells me, I put it into my, my Google account, it tells me when I last went. And it was September 2019. Um, that was when I was working for JK, I think. Yeah, yeah, I would have been working for JK Transport. So I would have been delivering like day aggregate stuff. So I have been here before, but a while ago. I, I vaguely remember as we take a left turn into the place, there was like a pink truck, pink and yellow, I think it was. Obviously, it's three years ago now, it's probably gone, but it'd be interesting to see if it's still there. Pink and yellow truck, it looked quite old, to be fair. It did look quite old. Um, and yeah, so we are, we are asked to get here by four o'clock. The time is 10 to four. We made up some time. We, uh, yeah, we made up a little bit of time on the, uh, on the old motorway. That's good, but it's cutting it fine, mind you. Right, indicate left, because we need to do a left turn. Do I need the other side of the road? I can't remember. I think I'm mine. Mm, it should be right, but I'll wait anyway if there's mini. Just so I can use the other side. All clear. Is there a pink and yellow truck? No, there isn't. It's been moved! It's been moved. Anyway, let's go up here. Seatbelt's coming off. We're delivering to County Building Supplies. Don't know where you expect me to go, mate. Ten to four. <laughs> I got ten minutes to spare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Lovely. Right, where we are? We are here. Let's get this offloaded and then um, find out what we're doing from there. See you in a bit. Okay, everyone, apologies, the audio wasn't working properly. So, um, yes, we've just left. I uh, can't remember what I said. <laughs> But big shout out to Dan Elliott. I've just met him at um, County Building Supplies where I just delivered to one of their own staff as well. I can't remember your name, but yeah, you watch my videos as well. But yeah, Dan Elliott, Dan, Dan Elliott from Elliott Brothers. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. He's given me his business card because he is a builder, essentially. Uh, carpenter, I think he said. But it can potentially do en suites. And uh, I want an en suite in my new house. So I'm going to give him a call and uh, find out what he can do for us that would be quite nice so yeah that is going to be the the end of today's video thank you very much for watching i do appreciate it thanks again to dan elliott from tetbury and uh, thank you to you who are watching my video i do appreciate it I really thanks for watching until next time drive safe stay safe and i will see you soon bye bye